Hey, Brian, how you doing? All right, nice looking banner. This is good. The connotative value of the empty chair with the towel on it and the two roses, boy, <laughs> that's good stuff. That's good communication, Ryan. That's really good communication. Good thinking there. I love it. Uh, single and ready to mingle and then create a, a romantic getaway as you go. The problem that I'm having is that there's no call to action here. Remember, there's a we need to have a promotional call to action. I, now, in the... Um, video for welcome to week six i had requested that students include their pdf along with the the animated gif so we can compare and uh and, and check for you know accurate adaptation from the magazine ad to the banner ad as well as as harmony in the uh overall campaign but i didn't see the magazine ad so we have the banner ad to go up we'll, we'll just talk about that so the reason i'm bringing that up is I, I really don't remember off the top of my head what the promotional call to action was in the banner ad but there should be some sort of an offer, right? 50% buy one, get one free, whatever the situation is. We don't have that here. To take that a step further, the only thing that should be animated in the banner is that call to action, okay? So um, that said, I think that uh, we, we need to reconfigure some of your type and your uh, definitely your animation. So the headline and subhead should remain static. Now I've got a couple, I think this is a kind of an unusual configuration that you're asking the viewer to look at the type here and then to jump all the way over here to look at this type. It's a really good idea to keep like elements together in any composition so that the viewer's eye doesn't have to jump around the page. Those are called saccadic movements and the less saccadic movements that you put the viewer through, the more effective the composition is, is, is going to be in terms of visual comfort and um, you know, an expeditious uh, um, viewing of, of the banner by the, the, the viewer. Okay, a couple of recommendations here. I don't recall the original image. I'm not real sure if your original image has any more room on either this side or this side. But what I'm getting at is, is I think the placement is good right now, but I think there's, let me think about this for a second. All right, this is what I would do since if we, we keep this, I like the position of this, the, the chair, because right now it's about a third of the way through. And that's rule of thirds and that's interesting and that's a good choice. The thing though is that right now at this, we've got this separation of text. What I would recommend we do is this, right across the top here. If, if there's any way we can move this over just a little bit, that would be great. But my recommendation would be to take this, and instead of stacking it like that, just take it across the top here and say single and ready to mingle, question mark. Then right underneath that, you've got your subhead. So this is an aerial bold, right? Aerial bold at top. So single and ready to mingle, then say create your romantic patch as you go. Then right over here, you can say, you know, whatever your promotion is, have it fade in, then have it fade out. Uh, you know, buy one resort package, get one free, or whatever your, your promotion is. Um, at that point, what I would do is I would take, um, since the type's going to be over here, we can even move the logo over here. I'm just trying to kind of figure out a way that we can reconfigure this to, to redistribute the type so that the type is together. So if you have any suggestions or ideas, please go ahead and do so. But we need that call to action too. Um, um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, those are my only rec uh, recommendations is to get this type together, get the subhead in closer proximity to the headline, try to avoid stacking type if at all possible, and then include your promotional call to action. Headline and subheads to remain static, the only thing that gets animated is that call to action. And then final recommendation is to include the location in your banner head. That's pertinent information. This is located in a, a pretty exotic area, so um, that that's a that's a pertinent piece of information I think that should be shared with the viewer. You don't have to include the, into the entire contact information, just the location, you know, uh, located in beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands or something like that, right? Okay, um, okay, so those are my recommendations, but structurally and um, aesthetically, I think you're off to a fantastic start. Okay, so most important, any questions at all, please let me know. And if you want to submit anything, please let, I'll, I'll be glad to provide additional comments. Uh, so we can get this tip top by the time the class closes and, and try to prepare this for inclusion in your student portfolio when that time comes. All right. So again, great start. Questions, comments, concerns, please let me know and I'll be glad to address anything that comes up. Thank you very much.